guy rang me up, uh, sort of about six months ago, and he says, you fancy doing a Crusader holiday camp? So I says, yeah, OK. First time in my life I've booked six months uh, ahead of my sketch. So um, I thought I'd come along, do a couple of activities, look after a few kids, be a good laugh. But the trouble is, you get about, I don't know, 151 activities to do in four hours. And uh, it's sort of like, it goes on and on and on, non-stop, non-stop, non-stop. And it's absolutely jam-packed, I haven't had any rest whatsoever. OK. Yep, that's right. All right, right, it's your breathing. OK, that's it. That's it. Nice and easy. You name a place on campus, there's an activity going on. Um, there's also canoeing um, at this holiday oh. for beginners. Um, and it's run, obviously, by qualified staff that know what they're doing. The two most important things are what? Sit up straight and brace your knees. That's right, brace your knees on the side of the kayak. OK? So whilst I suppose we are generally catering for the um, the interested participant of an activity and, and the beginner. For example, uh, at this camp you could do archery uh, for the first time and you could uh, be introduced to many sports like that. But there are also other camps around that cater for people that want to get more into their sport or activity and uh, develop their skills along those lines. Get the swing, get the swing. It was better than I expected because I couldn't see how so many sports could be organised so well and I couldn't see how they could all be played with not so many people of different ages, sizes and girls and boys together. This afternoon will be the athletics. With the relays they can do obviously on top of the other events, they can take part in both relays if they wish. I came to this particular camp because my brother had been to a couple of Crusader holidays before and so we had got the brochure from those. And looking through I saw the one for sports, which I enjoy. And a friend had been to it before and he told me it had been extremely good. And so it was by word of mouth and by the brochure. Well, the food is very good. You get uh, two cooked meals a day, except it's been hot so you've had nice salads. It's very good, and there's always a chance for getting seconds or thirds, if need be. This is my first Crusader holiday, and it's probably the best holiday I've ever been on. The atmosphere is absolutely brilliant, everybody's so friendly, the activities are great, and there's a sense of the Holy Spirit everywhere you go. I know they're in good, safe hands. They always make lots of, lots of new friends, friendships that they continue after the holiday. Um, I know they write to people that they met two or three years ago. And with sports holidays, they always get the opportunity of taking part in things that they wouldn't normally do. Perhaps at school they're not able to do various sports if they're not good at them. It doesn't matter if they're not good here. They can have a go and learn new things. Down, second server in the left, Malcolm. It's a caring atmosphere, um, and I think, as a parent, that's what I appreciate. I know that they all care for one another. If you want to get, get away from your parents for a week, it's a good way of doing that. I think it's going to be a shock for me going back uh, to reality when the week's ended. You just get away from it all, and you're with people your own age. Mm.
and even paying um, that my friends are to go to. And also it makes me unhappy when my friends, they're sort of searching for things which I know aren't the truth. Like they're into tarot cards, I don't know, analysing handwriting or something. And that gets me. When she goes up, she has to come down. Gravity <laughs> takes that. One, two, three, go! <laughs> Being a young person is a very exciting time of your life, though I'm sure for many of you, you're probably sitting there thinking, God, dear, I've got loads of questions, what am I going to do in the future? You don't know what my mum or my dad is like. How about things at school and in my Crusader group and uh, the other friends I have? But also, Crusader holidays give you the opportunity to talk those things through and to find out actually how being a Christian is relevant in the world that we actually live in. And uh, through this holiday, I'm able to share my life with people and say, yes, times are tough at times. But the way in which God helps me and encourages me, I can pass on to people and actually say that God is interested in you, your life, your money, your whole sexual relationships and boyfriends and girlfriends and how you actually are going to think through what you're going to do in your future life as you go on and leave school and university and go on into work. One, two, three, go! <laughs> got problems. Before I became a Christian, I never used to tell anyone. I don't know. I tell a few people now my problems, but most of the time I used to just tell God. And that's the only person I can really tell my problems to. Really actually tell the truth. Yeah, because I think um, you can, when you're on your own, you can be yourself with Jesus. You can, I mean, you, there's nothing you can hide from Jesus. Whereas with friends, you often have to put on a front and be someone else for them. When we booked up for the holiday, they sent us a leaflet or booklet telling us details about the holiday and listing uh, all, the, all the stuff we needed to bring as essentials and things that might be nice to bring and things that you'd need if you were doing special activities like horse riding or, or windsurfing. You obviously need to bring some old clothes. You're either going to get muddy or you're going to get wet. You obviously need to bring some slightly more decent clothes for when you go out. But basically you just look in your wardrobe and chuck whatever you like in. There's not actually a lot of equipment that you need to bring at all. In fact, you have to bring a sleeping bag and that's it. Because you need somewhere to sleep. Um, and you need to sleep a bit as well because it's very tiring. Especially if you're a member of staff. When you come on a Crusader holiday, there's a, I can give you a few tips. Maybe I think... Uh, some sleep in preparation because uh, the activities go on sometimes late into the night as they have done the last couple of nights and uh, well sleep is the main one and come along being prepared to join in with everything that's going on I mean you could come along and just uh, you know keep quiet keep to yourself all holiday and you'd have a good time a lot of people do that but uh, my first holiday I went on I was quiet and I enjoyed it but the last three I've joined in a lot more in the games the worship times contact groups I've said a lot more you know I put myself forward and around a bit and uh, you enjoy it a lot more because I mean, everyone knows your name and instead of people saying, sorry, what's your name, they can say, hey, there's Steve. So it's all right, it's a lot better when you join in. There he goes, off for another bash, a crusader knight of the olden days. The action man of his time, he believed in a challenge, something to aim for. Hi, my name's Michael. If you want a real challenge, you should come on a crusader holiday. This video is to show you what they're like. Take it away, Paul. Take it up. Take it up. Crusader holidays are packed with action and full of fun and friendship. You'll do things you've never done before. Anything is possible on a Crusader holiday. Well, almost anything. This is a typical Crusader holiday. The grounds are packed with things to do. On this holiday, you'll just spend your day casually flitting from one activity to another. 
This is great if you've always wanted to be a Tarzan or Jane. Everyone can do it. You don't have to be a gold medalist. On Crusader holidays, we've got something for everyone. Boys and girls, all sorts of interests and abilities. Just look at these snapshots to give you an idea of the range of choice. You can make powerful pottery. Have fun with the computer. Ride your own horse. Learn to sail small boats. And big ones too. Or ski at home or abroad. Or even surf skiing. He wondered if he'd managed to ride the waves, but now he's getting the hang of it. He thinks. But whatever specialist activity you've set your heart on learning to do, on a Crusader holiday you'll have experienced instructors to help you. So go for it. There's a lot to choose from and it's up to you to decide. So the first thing you've got to do is to read the brochure and pick the one that you like the best. Looking forward to going away for the first time. Your first holiday is a big adventure. For a start, what kit do you take? A sleeping bag is necessary at many holidays. But apart from that, you'll generally not need any specialist equipment. That's normally provided. In any case, you'll get a recommended kit list a few weeks before your holiday begins. You're packing already, Mum. I'm not wearing those. When I went to my first holiday, I went with some friends. But it wouldn't have mattered if I'd gone by myself. From the moment you arrive, you begin to make lots of friends. No one gets left out with Crusaders. Everybody gets to join in. Waking up to a brand new day. I've never been here before. Never know what's going to come my way. That's what I came here for. It doesn't matter if the clouds roll by. The sun is just behind. It doesn't matter if the going gets up. Your holiday base could be a bell tent, or a dormitory in a converted farmhouse, or even a ship afloat. Usually, you'll be sleeping in groups of four to eight people of the same age as you. Each group is looked after by your own special leader, so you always have someone to turn to if you need to, with any problems. And what about the food? Well, at most holidays the cooking is done for you by fantastic cooks. You can get three good meals a day, with all your favourites and in big helpings. But you are expected to help with some of the camp chores like washing up. If you think that sort of holiday is too tame, you want something more adventurous, like bivouacking overnight, catching fish for supper, cooking over a primus for yourself, then try a special venture holiday like this one that I've been to on the other silly. In the mornings you'll get together with friends in your tent or dormitory to look at the Bible and to find out what God is saying to you. And over breakfast you get a menu of the day's activities and decide what you want to do. And then it's off to an action-packed day. This morning there's a special outing on mountain bikes if you want. A Crusader holiday is the place to go for all sorts of new experience. This afternoon you can have some fun in the gym or get outside and practice team skills on the football pitch. Teamwork is much in evidence on the canoeing holiday too, where you'll learn a variety of canoeing techniques. You'll also learn that teamwork means sharing together, being prepared to be open with one another, to share problems and to give encouragement. As you wait upside down for your partner to arrive to practice a bowel rescue, you'll learn to develop trust. You'll learn to live with others and you'll certainly feel needed. At a Crusader holiday, there's a place for you in a bigger team. As you probably know, Crusaders is run by Christians. We trust Jesus. He's our team leader, and quite simply, he'd like you to play in his team. So if you're still on the sidelines, how about it? Until today, I've been missing the mark. I've been aiming too low. I'm not perfect, I'm just at the start. I'm going to give it a go And when I fall and I've lost my way I feel like running away to hide I need you with me, I need your strength I need someone on my side Take it up, the challenge of a lifetime Take it up, the challenge of a lifetime You'll never know just how good it is 
Boys and girls who come on a crusader holiday enjoy life to the full and that means pausing now and then to relax and reflect on why we're here. No doubt you've got issues to face in relationships with other people, parents and friends, and with God, the Father of us all. Feel free to talk about these things with your leaders and friends at the holiday. They're really good at listening and then helping you to find what you're looking for to lead a fuller, happier life. I hear the words of challenge ringing clear across the hall. I can see the gauntlets lying on the floor. The cause is mine to choose, mine to rise or fall. Do I stand and face the future, or in pride walk out the door? Take it up, the challenge of a lifetime. Take it up, the challenge of a lifetime. Coming on a Crusader holiday is a challenge. Are you ready for it? motorcycling race isn't that just amazing all that fun and all those activities in camps run by just one group just one group can give you all that we've already seen and who are they the crusaders and in camps all over britain you can be guaranteed to find something to try that you've never done before and if you have done it you've probably been on a camp already she's right you know She's already been on a few of these, but I haven't, I must be honest, this, all this is new to me. So I've come here so that Jackie can tell me, and you, a little bit about these camps. You can't spend any length of time on a Crusader holiday without realising what they're all about pretty quickly. They're all about being together with friends, enjoying yourself, and having a really good time. These all-action and fun holidays cater for those who want even more out of life. Doesn't matter where you come from, England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, you'll get on fine. Personally, I like the Welsh, but I'm a little bit biased, I think. But wherever you come from, throughout your holiday, you can sit around talking about the weather, reading, discussing the latest fashions and music, trying your hand at proving your worth as lead guitarist, budding Elton John, or, if you're feeling more energetic, watch others play games. But if you want more than that, and I've got a sneaking suspicion you do, then Crusaders have definitely got it. Not a bad choice, eh? In fact, between all the centres throughout Britain, I'd be surprised if there's a sport that Crusaders don't succeed in letting you try for yourself. Anyway, let's check up on Alan. Well, if you want to know what your Krypton factor is, coming on a Crusader camp will certainly help you find out a little bit. This aerial runway is an important part of camp life, and there are assault courses as well. I've taken the more fun option and the easier option, but the assault courses are really worth your while as well. And they really sort out the men from the boys and the girls. You don't have to join the army to enjoy all this. If you think it's all too easy, make it a little harder for yourself by like going barefoot, for example. But from the ridiculous to the even more ridiculous, there is fun of a different kind, like trying to catch a balloon. The catch is that it's full of water. A prize if you succeed, and a soaking if you don't. Strangely enough, this game has never had a very high success rate. And this is just one of the sort of games you might find your friends bring you into on a Crusader holiday. Oh well, 
cricket and tennis and football and sports like that are popular enough activities. But the one thing that's good about Crusader camps is the chance to try that something just a little bit different. And as you can see at the moment, I couldn't hit a band door 10 paces. So I think I'll just keep on practicing. If the thought of following in Robin Hood's footsteps makes you quiver, there's another type of precision shooting you can get stuck into. A popular Georgian pastime is shooting pigeons that look nothing like pigeons and are made of clay. All under the watchful eye of experts, of course. Yep. Pull. Pull. <laughs> We've seen the sports on offer. Let's have a quick look at other sort of activities you could get involved with for recreation, or things that mean you can help others, or share what Christianity is all about to you. Sailboarding, canoeing, sailing, riding, rock climbing, cooking, fishing, train spotting, trekking, helping at the Royal National Orthopaedic Hospital, paint a mural, do some street evangelism, or build a wall. You can be sure that if there's a beach anywhere near a Crusader Centre, then that centre will be ignored for hours on end throughout the week. That's what this noisy lot have done. They've come here to swim, sunbathe, play games on the beach. In fact, everything short of burying their heads in the sand. There's too much going on to bury your head in the sand anyway. And in fact, if you so much as blink, you'll miss something in the fast-moving, action-packed programmes. I've talked to lots of people on Crusader holidays. Many of them had been before and were back for a return visit, for all sorts of different reasons. Most guests feel that offering a Christian holiday is one of the most powerfully important features of any Crusader holiday. It was in the dining room at Westbrook that I talked to some guests about this. It was really late last night to be at a praise and worship session, and the atmosphere there was quite incredible, really. It was, it was brilliant. Yeah, the ceiling almost fell in below you. That was all the noise of the singing, I presume. Yeah. No, I'm stamping on the beat. <laughs> If you think that just because these camps are for young people, you're going to be stuck in a drafty church hall somewhere, think again. This is All Hallows in South Devon, just one of the rather nice little places scattered throughout Britain that Crusaders use for their camps. Looks good, doesn't it? And there are plenty of other attractive places you can stay with the comfort of a roof over your head. But you don't have to sleep indoors, though. If the outdoor life is for you, then go camping and enjoy the luxury of wall-to-wall -wall grass. Let's take a look at some of the places you could go to. Langley in Norfolk, Polzath in Cornwall, Caicanol in Snowdonia, Harrogate in Yorkshire, Hatherop in Gloucestershire, the Isles of Scilly off the coast of Cornwall, Pinewood in Wiltshire, and Brecon in South Wales. The facilities at these centres are pretty impressive. Yes, of course, there are dormitories to sleep in with plenty of room for everybody. Lounges where you can meet your friends and relax. Dining rooms ready for feeding times. Not exactly the quietest times of day. And very popular tourist attraction wherever it is, the tuck shop. It's not every shop that sells left and right-handed mugs, is it? You don't have to stay confined within the grounds of your particular holiday centre, though, however spacious and grand it may be. Outings are a big highlight wherever you stay. From here, they go to a wildlife park, local towns, and many other places of interest. I can vouch for that. During my visit to a summer holiday this year, I enjoyed a very lively tour of the Isle of Wight. It was really good. And these sure are summer holiday you can go on, aren't they? Yes. Oh, well, Jackie, I don't know about you, but I'm absolutely shattered. No, I can't take all this. Don't worry, Alan. That's why Crusade holidays are for young people. Oh, thank you very much, madam. <laughs> oh, I see. Did it really take...